Hey guys, we're down here in the dungeon right now and we're going to do a product review on Oxbeam's 4 inch LED light set that they sent to me. Oh, wait, right here? Yeah, right there. The 4 inch uh, 18 watt. There's two of them in here and it says 1800 lumens. Now I don't know if that means each one or a combination of both, so I'm not really too sure. Uh, but uh, we'll pull this stuff out and check it out. All right, so got the beams right there. We'll put a, we've got a little 12 volt, seven amp hour battery right here. We'll test it out. Uh, the box seems to be all right. Nice glossy finish and stuff, yeah. Right, now uh, I also uh, pulled this out the other night on live stream and showed some of the guys there. Uh, you get a little pamphlet that shows you how to mount all this stuff, but it doesn't just show this one item. It looks like it's a universal type of thing on all their uh, sets of lights that they offer. Uh, looks like Spanish too is on here too. But that's okay. We won't hold that against them, right? Oh, it's got a warranty card here. I believe these come with a five-year warranty, I think. So, um, I'll also leave a link down in the description for you guys can, where you guys can find this specific item on Amazon. Now, I'm working with Oxbean. They're a new supporter of the channel. So, there's going to be a few more things that they're going to be sending me. And we'll be doing some evaluations and checking them out and playing around with them. Yeah. Uh, looks like this whole thing is pretty well packaged up. This isn't regular styrofoam. This stuff is the squishy stuff. Huh. Feel pretty well built. Oh, uh, this, uh, they've got a sunken nut in there that, uh, you put the most likely put the bracket in there or a bolt in there and have the bracket on there tightens it all up the wire is not doesn't seem to be cheap ooh this seal right here feels like it's neoprene and not rubber so that's a plus Let's see if i can pull it out It looks like it's still pretty well sealed in there if this were to if you were to ever lose this well that's definitely a plus right there it's not some cheap chunk of rubber that they use just to, as a plug now these lights are the floodlights uh, when they asked me about what type of lights I wanted, I requested the floodlights because the spotlights, you know, when you're driving around on your machines and stuff, you really don't need to see two or three blocks ahead of you. You kind of want to see 60 to 80 feet in front of you really well and then just kind of fade out from there. So you can see the cone reflection areas inside there are all uh, stepped. So it helps diffuse the light a little bit. Uh, something else that I noticed in uh, another product review... Uh, you want to make sure that you check because at the company when they go to cut this plastic off right here sometimes they'll get a little too deep and go into the red and black right in this section so it doesn't look like that's a case with these ones that I've got right here haven't checked the other one yet though but uh, another thing that I noticed uh, when I was looking at other ones these caps are plastic but these ones right here are not. These, because there's other companies out there that sell stuff like this, these caps on the ends here are not plastic. These, that's aluminum. So that's cool. Uh, it looks like I can see a piece a seal down in there I don't know if the camera can show that or not but yeah I see a seal down in there and I see the seal over here um, I would take my torque or my Allen wrench and take these off to check this out but I don't know where they're at right now so yeah put the uh, bracket on here and see how well that works
when I'm looking at how this is set up, I would assume that the smaller bolt, the longer bolt, I'm assuming that the longer bolt's gonna go in here and the smaller one goes in here. So let me, I mean, I got the directions right there too, but you know, who uses directions, right? <laughs> oh wait, I better put this one first. Oh, I see. Okay. See how the nut or how the bolt goes right in there and it locks in. Okay. Ooh. All right. See how I have it. See if I mounted it like that. See how the see the angle. So let me loosen this up, and then we can adjust this anywhere we want it to be. I'll put it say right there. Finger tighten. And there we go. Stick that onto the mount. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hmm. Let's test out the brightness here. See if you can burn out our retinas. <laughs> okay. So we got black to black. Now this battery that I have right here is not fully charged. So now since I did do this last night, I already know what I'm in store for. So I'm going to point this thing away from my face. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And when it's on for a little while, I mean, well, even right now, you can feel, I can feel heat almost about six inches away from it. And the longer I leave it on, the warmer this, the top will get, and then it'll spread off to these first two or three fins. But I haven't had it on longer than probably five or ten minutes. Yeah, but the uh, this battery is not fully charged, like I said, so I don't think I'm getting the full uh, full light from it. Yeah, it's kind of weird because you can feel the heat coming off of the LEDs. But when you push, when you touch the glass, the glass is cool. It's, that's just weird. <laughs> that's really weird. But uh, let me assemble the other one, and we'll go put them on the uh, full screen machine, just mount them, and see what they look like. Well, just got them on there. That's actually kind of neat and kind of blend in with the, all the other chaos, but looking at the size of them, since they are four inches, uh, uh, four inches wide by three inches high, I believe, something like that. But yeah, these things could probably, would easily fit underneath the shock mounts or even down in here if I were to build mounts for that. This area right here, I'm kind of reserving that for a rack, you know, like a, you know, a, something to put stuff on. Uh, so I'm not really too sure yet on that, but yeah, they look pretty decent. They would also go back on that other connection right there. And I'm glad I did put those connections in because if I wanted to have lights back there, I could have them casting off to the side. And like I said, these are floodlights. They're not spotlights. So, yeah. Trying to take a better picture here without uh, you know, tripping over all the stuff that's on my right below me. The other lights that I've got that I was planning on putting in that spot are the big KC round lights, but I like these. These are kind of neat. They kind of fit the profile of the machine, anyways. Now, one of these days, once I get them all wired up and everything, and get a battery on there, uh, on this, an actual battery bank. Then I'll be able to 
drive around and see how bright these things are. Well, I shouldn't say so I can see how bright these things are because I already know how bright these things are. The other night I was on live stream and I plugged that battery in and shined the thing out the wind out the door. And you could almost see, I don't know if you guys can see it now, but I could almost see the posts on the fence line shining out my basement. I could see them, but you couldn't see it on camera though. But but yeah, so as a quick roundup, they are uh, 1800 lumens, 1800, or maybe it's 18,000. Oh, well, I wish I would have brought that box with me. The end caps are, uh, are aluminum. The whole casing is aluminum. Yeah, for, for discreet little lights, these, um, from what I've messed around with them so far, uh, the lumens uh, to price ratio on these things are outstanding. So, I'll, like I said, I'll leave a link down in the description, and I'll be evaluating some more products like this, uh, because uh, Oxbeam, they did contact me. I didn't contact them. They contacted me. They want uh, they want me to be putting some of this stuff on on my machines and and doing videos on them and stuff like that. So maybe we'll have some giveaways later on in the future and all sorts of awesome stuff. So all right, guys, I'll leave a link down in the description where you guys can go get yourself a set of these. My set came with no wiring harness, which is okay anyways. You know, it's just an extra little perk thing that you can you can you can order a wiring harness from the company to make it make the whole job easier for you. But yeah, go check them out. They're very reasonably priced compared to the. To, to what you get. I always investigate a company before I decide to start promoting their products and um, if I'm gonna be representing a company then they better have some stuff that's decent you know that's good so, so there you go guys go check them out the links down in the description I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers and all my new viewers hello guys and if you're new to my channel or you're a pre-existing subscriber and you want to see more creativity please consider jumping over to patreon and helping out thanks a lot see you guys later hey guys what you guys doing I'm doing a product review for Oxbeam. No, I'm not live streaming. I'm recording on the camera right here. Okay. Show people the super awesome kick-ass gun. Put it right here. <laughs> Some people have probably seen that. Yeah, I'm watching live stream last night. Yeah, either last night or you know some of my other videos I put it into. Huh. Dad, maybe we can mount one of those onto this. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. Okay, um... Well, me and Joy are gonna head down to the park, okay? Okay.